Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sarah, and today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I am not doing anything beauty related today, um, but instead I'm going to show you how I organize my YouTube and Instagram content. I have finally figured out a way to keep myself on track and consistent with Instagram and YouTube content. Um, and I'm going to be showing you how I use the program called Asana. Asana is a project management software system that I have been using for quite a while now. I used it in a previous job. I use it in my current job, so I've just adapted it to fit my Instagram and YouTube content. Asana does have a free version, so that is what I use, but you can also pay to upgrade your account to get additional features. Um, for now, I use the free version just because it has what I need, but if you find that you get into Asana and you need more features, there's definitely more. So today, I'm gonna to be showing you how I organize myself. I'm going to be showing you how I plan out a month of content all at once, and then I have some questions at the end from you guys um, from my Instagram page. So if that all sounds good to you, grab your coffee, grab a notepad, and let's get started. I'm going to be recording my computer screen so you guys can see exactly what my Asana looks like, um, but then I'm also gonna try to have you guys um, in my phone in a little box at the bottom. So bear with me. I hope this works <laughs> If not, uh, I guess editing Sarah will have to figure it out. But so um, if you see me looking down, I'm looking down at my computer um, and So when I first get into Asana, this is how you spell Asana over here I mean, it's just asana.com. It's um, accessible like on your desktop, but they also have a mobile app and I use both for my content. Um, so when you first sign in to Asana, this is what your, um, your page will look like. Um, and I don't really use this page too much, but this is just what it looks like. The first thing I wanna talk about is down here, right here down in the left-hand corner. These are your projects. And basically what I've done is made a project for everything that I want to keep separate, but then I have a master calendar of all my content, everything for Instagram and YouTube. If I ever have like a Facebook post, I have a project for that. Um, if I ever start to do like Influencer or Octoly, I would have a separate project for that because you can pull in things from the separate projects into your master calendar and I'll show you how to do that. Um, so the first thing I want to show you is my content calendar project. Um, and this is where every single piece of content is scheduled. Um, and you can see that it is color coded. Um, and basically the best thing about Asana is that you can set it up truly how um, it makes sense for you and your organizational style. Um, as far as my organizational style goes, um, I want to see exactly what I have scheduled out for the next week so that when I'm planning my content, like filming and taking pictures on the weekend, I know exactly which day I'm posting or filming, whatever. So this is what it looks like. Um, you can set it up as a calendar like I do. You can also set it up as a list or like as a timeline. Um, for this project, this is what makes sense for me. Um, and this is exactly what I have planned for the next few weeks. You can see today I posted my Maybelline Sky High Mascara review on, um, on Instagram. So um, if you click into any one of these boxes, it will show you the exact details um, of each post. So I'll go into this one. This is the project that I, or the task that I have set up for um, this video right now that I'm filming, how I organize Instagram and YouTube content. And the best part about Asana is that everything that you need for a specific post, 
a specific video is all in one spot. It's all in one task. Um, I found when I was writing out my content, like on a physical piece of paper, I would, you know, write notes in one notebook and then forget where it was. And then I would start writing notes for the same project or video in another notebook and not have everything in one place. So I love that it's all here. Um, so this is the, all my notes that I have for the, the video that I'm filming right now. Um, like I said, I wanted to make sure that I had points um, to talk through, things that I wanted to make sure to touch on. Um, and this is what I do for pretty much any of my YouTube videos as well. Um, you can see that I have notes here because I do want to make sure that I cover everything. Um, so the important thing about, to me anyway, for having um, the separate projects um, is right here. So this specific task shows up in my content calendar um, project. It shows up in my content ideas list. It shows up on my Instagram because I will post about this on my Instagram, but I'll be doing a YouTube video on it. So I want this task to populate in every single one of those projects. Um, here you can also set up your deadline. So um, I want to have this video trying half caked cosmetics on March 4th. So that is when I have it scheduled. Um, and then I have all my notes here. And you can also set up subtasks for yourself. So um, if you want it to be detailed like this, I don't because I I know my process by now, but if you needed this extra help, um, if you needed the extra, like, you needed to see how much you have for each day, these are perfect for you. So you could even break it down as far as film video, um, edit video, um, upload to YouTube, uh, fill out description box, um, create Insta post. And so you have these subtasks um, set up for this project and you can also set up deadlines for this as well. So if you know that you are posting this video on March 4th and you're gonna film on Saturday, you would say, I'm gonna film on February 27th. And you wanna assign yourself. Um, you need to edit probably on the 28th. Also, um, assign it to yourself, upload at least by the second, you know, I'm just, this is what I would do. Fill in the box on the second. And the reason you want to assign yourself is because it will populate in your tasks, which I'll show you in just a second. And then you would want to create your Instagram post ahead of time. And there you have it. So once you have all of these subtasks figured out, then those will show up in your tasks. So that all being said, it's all in one spot. My point is, is that it's all in one spot. You can break down this specific piece of content into further pieces um, so that you know what you should be doing on certain days. Um, if you were to have a team, if you had like a video editor or something like that, you can um, add people to your asana and have a conversation down here in the conversation box. But, so we assigned those subtasks sub and then I would go over here to my tasks and it would populate over here. So you can see I'm gonna film a video trying half cake cosmetic products on Saturday. Um, I'm also going to be posting this video on Saturday. I'm gonna edit this video on Sunday so it does populate tasks for the certain days. So that brings me to my task list. Um, and this is kind of what I live and breathe by. I plan out my content in my projects, but then I populate all my tasks here so I know on certain days what I have going on. I also do this in my job as well, so if this sounds like a lot, it's because it is a lot and it's just what I'm used to be, I'm used to doing this from my job. So tomorrow, um, I'm planning to post a ColourPop 
pretty fresh foundation review. Um, and then Saturday I have f some filming to do. I have a video to post. Sunday I have a few tasks and when you're done with your tasks, you just mark them as complete and you're done. So it's just as simple as that. I love having these um, set up by due date. You can also set them up by project um, depending on how your organizational style works. Um, but then I do have some late tasks that I just haven't gotten to yet. There you go. Okay, so that is my task list. Everything is set up by deadline. You can see which projects each task is assigned to. I don't pay too much attention to those. Um, but then if I want to go over here and see, you know, what YouTube videos I have planned for next week um, so that I can film this weekend, I can click on YouTube and it'll show me just the YouTube content I have. If I want to see just the Instagram posts I have planned, I would click on my Instagram project and that is what I have planned. So um, it's really nice to have that full calendar of content um, to see what exactly will be posted which days. But if you want to break it down further to like specifically YouTube, um, Octoly or Influencer, if you have a certain deadline for that, I would put that in a project on its own so you can see um, what you have coming up for that. Um, but like I said, it does kind of depend on your organi organizational style. That is just how I would do it. Um, so yeah, you can um, see your Instagram posts and your YouTube posts at a high level. I do have a specific project for my Talk Shop Live series. Um, so you can see over here who my guest was. Brittany was my last guest. And this is where I do my outline. Um, yeah, so. That is just how I organize myself. I do have some product reviews just so I don't, so I make sure that I can remember what I reviewed and what I said about those reviews. Um, so yeah. So that brings me to my content ideas list. This is what I use to keep track of the different things that I might potentially do a post or a video on. Um, this is kind of where the mobile app comes in as well. If I see a video or a piece of content that I think would be really interesting or I think of something, I will throw it in this list real quick. Um, and then when I'm planning my content for that month, I can come to this list and see what is the most interesting for me to film or what would make sense for me to film that, that week or that month. Um, so yeah, I have, you know, that trying half cake cosmetics products video. Um, I did decide to do that. So then all my details are here. Um, I want to do some speed reviews of some products that I recently picked up. Um, I saw that prom was coming up, so I thought maybe I would do a prom tutorial, things like that, that, that I want to film, um, but I don't necessarily have a date for yet. It's all housed right here. So I think if I go and look at my notes, um, I think, oh, I do want to show you guys this. So on my big content calendar project, um, the best part about this is that it's so flexible. When I was writing out my content on like a physical piece of paper, um, I would have to like erase, like physically erase if, um, if I didn't have a video ready or I thought that this made more sense to go on this Tuesday, whatever. So I was constantly like erasing and it just got to be too much. So my solution in Asana is super easy. Um, if I see that I don't have this review ready for ColourPop tom for tomorrow, but I do have this Biosance eye cream review ready to go. Um, I can easily move that here and move my Foundation Friday ColourPop review to the next day. So it's very easy to like move around your, ta um, your tasks, your projects, your content 
to make sense for you so that you're not doing additional work like erasing and stuff. Um, I know that sounds so like so minor, but it does kind of make a, a difference when you're like planning out your content. You don't want to be constantly erasing and like second guessing yourself, I guess. So it's really easy to move projects from day to day. Um, if I, I keep pushing off this half caked video because I don't have my products yet. Um, so I just keep moving that. So yeah, it, that makes it really easy to like for your content to be really flexible. Um, and then when you have a piece of content done, it does go transparent like this so that you can still see what you posted um, the previous week or the previous month, but you can also see that it's been, been finished. Okay, so I believe I've gone over a super high level review of how I use Asana, um, but I thought it would be really beneficial for you guys to see um, me actually plan out a, a month of content. So I have March pretty much filled out. Um, so I thought I would just go into April um, and show you how I would kind of plan out April. So the first thing I do is I'm on my, my content calendar project and I first fill in any projects or any videos or content posts that I do every single week. So I love to participate in Emily, um, Emily's makeup bag, her makeup macro Monday. So I always do that on Mondays. So I just create, this is, it's as easy as, as this, <laughs> um, creating tasks. So I'm going to assign myself um, and I want this to show up on my Instagram post um, project and that's how it turns pink. The color coding, I mean if you're not into color coding you don't need to do that but I kind of like it. I guess it makes it a little bit more fun. So okay, so now all of those will populate onto my Instagram. Um, project and then I also on Instagram like to do IGTV tutorials on Wednesdays don't ask me why I don't know I just like to post those on Wednesdays so I will post or I will schedule those in do the same thing um, assign myself And then make sure that everything populates correctly on my Instagram project. Okay. So those are the um, those are the content pieces that I like to do every single week and every single month. Um, I do have some projects that I do, or some I keep calling them projects. I'm sorry. I do have some um, videos that I like to do every single month. Um, I like to do the like empties and declutters for the previous month um, around the first of the month. So I already have that planned. So I will be doing my March empties on April 1st. Um, you can also see, um, or I would also do that in June. I would do my, or in July, oh, this is July, <laughs> sorry. Um, in July, I'll be doing my June ones. Um, in May, I have right around that, yeah, sorry. So it can be flexible. <laughs> so the April 30th, I have my April, um, empties and declutter so I go through for the whole year and just plan those um, but yeah so then this is where I would go into my content ideas and say hmm I would like to do this video on let's see April 13th for example so I'm gonna set that as my deadline I'm gonna put this in my content calendar 
I'm gonna put it on my Instagram because I will also be doing an Instagram post to promote it. And then I'll also put it on my YouTube so that I um, have it there as well. So then here I would do brand one, brand two, brand three, brand four, brand five. Those are the brands I will not be reviewing. Um, and then that is what I would do for April 13th. So then you come over to your content calendar, go down to April 13th, and that is where that shows up. So that is what I would do every single for the whole month. <laughs> um, and like I said, it can be flexible. So if I don't have my March empties done on April 1st, I can move it over here to the 6th. It's whatever. So that is my process for planning content. Um, I just go back and forth between my content ideas um, or if I have a video that I didn't get to in March, I can move it to April, for example. It's very flexible and that's what I love about Asana. So that is how, that is my process for doing, for planning out my content. Let's move that back. Okay, let's go back to my notes and make sure that I covered everything before I move on to questions. Oh yes, okay, speaking of actually like writing out my content, um, once I have everything planned for, let's, let's just say for March, for example, um, if I, when I have time, I will go through and start writing Instagram um, captions and I will start doing notes for each of my tasks. So um, I don't have to like hurry up and scramble and write a caption. So I already have, for example, this Biosance review done. Um, I wrote this when I had some extra time. And when, when the, the product is like top of mind, that is when I will review the product um, or write notes on it. So then I can write this. So then when I go to post this review, all I have to do is copy the, um, the caption that I wrote from my mobile app, my Asana on my phone, copy and paste and take it into Instagram and it's already done. So that when I'm posting to Instagram, it takes five minutes instead of, you know, forever to come up with the content and doing the tags and all of that stuff. So yeah, that makes it easier on me as well. If I know that in February I have some um, I had some favorites that I want to make sure I talk about. I'll list them out here ahead of time. Um, and I always make sure to write notes on my YouTube video specifically um, so that I don't miss anything or I don't forget anything um, while I'm filming. So that is how I use Asana um, to organize myself. That is how I plan my content using Asana. And I did ask for some questions on my Instagram. So let's go ahead and get into those now. So some of these questions are not necessarily like organizational um, questions. They just more to do with um, just the general content process. Um, so these aren't, these might not be particularly relevant for this video, but I wanted to answer them because you guys asked them. Um, so the first question I have is what do you do if you skip a day for whatever reason? Um, if I skip a day, I really try not to beat myself up about it. Honestly, Instagram and YouTube are my hobby, so I don't want to make it something that I get anxious about or that I dread doing. Um, so if I skip a day or a video doesn't get done for a week, I try not to let it get to me. Um, my page will still grow um, if I skip a day. I try not to skip more than one day in a row, but I have found that by organi organizing myself like this, using Asana, I have content and posts ready to go. Um, even if I don't plan to have a certain post go live for that day, I can grab a post from a different day and just keep it kind of flexible that way. But yeah, I try not to um, 
beat myself up about it. It's also nice with Asana. I can see exactly what I need to take pictures of or film on the weekend for the next week. So I always have content at the ready if, I cho if I'm like not feeling the post I have you know ready for that day but like I said don't beat yourself up about it it's not a big deal like people understand that it, YouTube and Instagram kind of come second to your personal life so don't beat yourself up too much about it the next question is how do you edit your pictures um, if you go back um on my old videos on YouTube and down my feed a little bit on Instagram, you will see that I used to use presets um, that I purchased. I decided for 2021 that I was no longer going to do that because I felt like for being a makeup page, you really couldn't see my makeup looks using those presets. Um, but that doesn't mean that you can't use presets. I'm just saying for myself personally, I want my followers and my viewers to see my makeup for exactly how it is. Um, even though it might not be the most flattering, um, I want it to be as genuine as possible. So I no longer use presets, but I do still edit my photos a little bit. Um, usually I will pull them into Lightroom and mess with the contrast, the exposure. I usually crop them in there. <laughs> mess with the like texture and clarity a little bit, um, but I do not ever filter or edit my body or my face or my makeup. Um, I just don't feel like that is appropriate for a makeup page and I want you guys to see me as I am. Um, so yeah, I don't really do a whole lot of editing. I just kind of mess with the lighting a little bit because my room um, is definitely yellow, so I kind of mess with that. Um, but yeah, I don't have like a certain process um, for how I edit my pictures. The next question was, how do you plan your stories? And this person was um, specifically asking about Instagram. Um, I do not, I don't plan my stories <laughs> at all. My Instagram page is not story focused. Um, I definitely want to concentrate my page on my feed and the quality of my YouTube videos right now. If I have a makeup look that I really like that day or I have a haul that I want to share really quickly or I want to talk about my Talk Shop Live series coming up or just have something to say, I'll just pop onto my stories and talk. Um, I don't really, I don't plan them. Um, but if you were like a story focused page, you could definitely build that into a sauna and think, okay, this day I'm gonna do a get ready with me on my stories, or I have this Sephora order coming on this day, I could do, do a haul on this day, or trying new product. It's the same thing, it's the same concept. Um, so if you were a story focused um, planner or page, you could still plan that content in a sauna. And the last question I have is, she just says lighting. <laughs> um, so I was just gonna talk about my setup really quick. I, you guys, I don't have a fancy setup at all. I'm telling you, I have a ring light behind me. I sit in front of a window, so I really rely on natural light. I do have my ring light. Um, I film on my phone, <laughs> so I don't have a fancy camera. Um, I don't have like a huge lighting system uh, because I don't want to invest in case this isn't something that I stick to. <laughs> so yeah, I do have a tripod that my phone sits on and then I have a mic that I plug into my phone that I wear on my shirt. Um, so that you guys can hear me really well but yeah I really rely on the Sun that's why I am always filming and taking pictures you know on my lunch hour or filming on Saturday mornings because that is when the lighting in this room is the best like I said you guys I don't have a background um, I have baby toys and baby clothes in my background so like I said I keep my content really real I don't want to invest too much 
until I know that this is something that I want to do. But yeah, this tripod was like $20 on, Insta on, on Instagram, <laughs> on Amazon. My mic was like mm, probably around there as well, $20. Um, and my ring light I've had forever. It's such a piece of junk. <laughs> um, so yeah, don't invest and don't buy a bunch of stuff until you know that you really want to make YouTube or Instagram a, a regular thing. Um, and then once you are making money, you could possibly um, invest or you just feel like it's time. But don't feel like you have to like use all of this fancy stuff to just start. Um, the best thing you can do is just to start. So, okay guys, that was a lot. And I hope, I feel like I just rambled a whole lot. Um, so I'm sorry if I was super rambly, but I really hope that this was beneficial for you or at least to see how somebody else organizes themselves to be consistent on YouTube and Instagram. Obviously I'm not perfect. This will be the first video this week that I'm posting, so don't feel bad um, if you organize yourself and then don't follow it. You just have to find what works for you, and this works for me for my personal hobby, but then also for my job as well. But yeah, if you guys have specific questions as far as Asana goes, I'd be happy to share those with you, or to answer those for you. Um, just leave them down in the comments or DM me on Instagram. I love Asana. I'm obsessed with Asana. I think that it is one of the best project management um, software systems um, out there and especially for it being free, um, it can be very helpful and beneficial for just about any job or hobby that you have. I believe that is everything. I hope that you guys found this video beneficial. Let me know down in the comments um, if you liked this video or if it was helpful for you um, and share it with your friends because I hope that this will make content creation uh, more about the creative side rather than just beating yourself up because you're not being consistent. That is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.